Welcome to the Diagnostic Imaging Center. This is where you will have a lumbar puncture under fluoroscopy, which is an X-ray done by neurointerventional radiology. In this video, you will learn about a lumbar puncture, why you need to have this procedure, what to do before the procedure, what to expect during the procedure, and what to do after the procedure. A lumbar puncture, also known as a spinal tap, is a procedure to remove cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, from your back. The procedure is usually done using fluoroscopy or X-ray. A small amount of radiation is used during the procedure. This procedure is done to collect samples of the fluid that flows in your brain and spinal cord. The sample is then sent to the lab for testing. The results of the tests help with developing your treatment plan. Treatment may include intrathecal administration of medicine if ordered by your doctor. Intrathecal means that the medicine is given directly into the cerebral spinal fluid. There are precautions you will need to take before the procedure. Please tell your healthcare team if you have ever had an allergic reaction to betadine or iodine solution or to a local anesthetic such as lidocaine, are taking blood thinners or anticoagulants, are not able to lie on an x-ray table facing down on your stomach for the procedure, had a recent test that required drinking barium, which is a white, chalky liquid. These tests may include a CT scan, barium swallow test, or GI or small bowel series scan, are on any isolation precautions such as contact or respiratory isolation. Your doctor may also order a myelogram and CT scan for you. If you need an iodine contrast injection, your doctor will also order lab tests to check your kidney function. Tell your care team if you are allergic to iodine contrast media. Let the nurse know if you do not receive an appointment to have lab tests. Before the procedure, your doctor will order blood tests and a platelet count. This is to make sure you do not have any problems with bleeding during the procedure. If your platelet count is very low, you will have a transfusion before the procedure. If you are taking an anticoagulant or blood thinners, such as Coumadin, Eliquis, Lovenox, Plavix, and Xarelto, you will need to temporarily stop taking them. Talk with your doctor about when you should stop taking them. You may eat a small meal before your procedure. You may take your medicines as instructed by your doctor. Your doctor may prescribe an anti-anxiety medicine before your procedure. The medicine helps you relax. You may also receive pain medicine. Do not take them until after you sign the consent form or until a care team member tells you to take them. The procedure takes about one hour to complete. However, plan to stay an additional two hours after the procedure for recovery. Please check your MyChart account for the time and location of your procedure. Your procedure may be canceled or delayed if you do not arrive on time. You may not drive yourself home after the procedure. You will need to have a responsible adult come with you the day of the procedure. This person will receive discharge instructions and will need to sign you out before you can go home. A taxi or a rideshare driver does not meet these criteria. If you have an external medical device, you may be asked to remove the device at your procedure visit. Bring additional supplies and necessary medicines as needed to your appointment. Examples of external medical devices include on-body injectors, continuous glucose monitors, on-body transmitters and monitors, medication pumps, and wound care pumps. When you arrive, check in at the front desk. If this is your first appointment of the day, you will be given an ID bracelet that contains your name and birth date. Make sure the information is correct. The procedure will be explained to you by a care team member. You will have an opportunity to ask questions and have them answered. You will be asked to put on a hospital gown. A nurse will check your vital signs, including your temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure, and oxygen level in your blood. You will need to empty your bladder before the procedure. Ask a care team member if you need help going to the restroom. Next, you will be taken to the fluoroscopy x-ray room. A care team member will assist you onto the x-ray table. You will lie face down on your stomach. 
a care team member will help position your body. An X-ray of your back will be taken. A care team member will be with you during the procedure and will check to make sure you are comfortable. An X-ray of your back is taken and the site for the puncture is marked. A betadine solution, or a different antiseptic if you are allergic, is used to clean your back. Lidocaine, a local anesthetic, is given to numb the skin. You may experience mild discomfort when the shot is given. It is very important that you do not move during the procedure. If you experience pain during the procedure, please tell a member of your care team. A series of images will be taken to guide the needle to the target area in your spine. A small amount of cerebral spinal fluid is taken for lab tests. The table may be tilted to allow the CSF to flow better. If ordered, chemotherapy medicines may be given directly into your spine through the needle. The needle is then removed and a bandage is applied over the puncture site. After the procedure, you will lie flat on your back, side, or stomach for an additional two hours. The lights in the room will be dimmed. This is to help you recover and prevent getting a headache. The nurse will be with you to monitor your vital signs. You may eat and drink as usual after the procedure. Follow your doctor's instructions for taking blood thinning medicine after the procedure. For your safety, a responsible adult will need to drive you home. Be sure to drink fluids after your procedure. Avoid vigorous physical activity. Do not lift anything more than five pounds for 24 hours. Resume taking blood thinning medicines as directed by your doctor. Keep the site clean and dry for 24 hours. Keep the bandage on for 24 hours. Replace bandage if it gets wet or soiled. Headaches can occur after your procedure. Lie completely flat to help decrease the pain. You can also take pain medicine such as extra strength Tylenol. The results of your tests will be available 24 to 72 hours after the procedure. Your doctor will discuss the results with you at your next appointment. Notify your doctor or nurse right away if you have any of the following symptoms. Drainage, bleeding, redness or swelling at the puncture site. A fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius, or higher. Call your doctor if you have a headache that is not relieved by lying down or taking pain medicine, a headache with neck stiffness and sensitivity to light, persistent or severe back pain, new or worsening pain or discomfort around the puncture site or back. To report your symptoms, Call your primary care center Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. After normal business hours or on weekends or holidays, go to the MD Anderson Acute Cancer Care Center. MD Anderson Acute Cancer Center is open 24 hours a day, every day. In case of an emergency, call 911 or go to the nearest hospital emergency center. If you have any questions or concerns, please call your primary clinic.